Okay, moving and copying. Why do we want to move and copy? Well, quite simply, typing gets really old. If we had to type everything in every time we wanted to move it to a different cell, and that would get very old very fast. So, uh, moving and copying is a quick way to move, which is cutting, if you want to think in that term. Uh, moving equals cutting, and we either cut and copy, or cut or copy and paste. Okay, so let's take a look at cutting first. Cutting is accessible. We select what we want to cut or move and let's just say we want to cut this range here. We're going to put this range of data. Actually let's make it computer 502. That series of three cells there and we want to cut that and move it to the end. A couple ways to do that. Control X is the fastest way that I use. Uh, control, holding control and hitting X. When we do that we see we got ants marching around our selection. That lets us know that it's been selected to either be cut or copied. Okay, so we need to move to the top left cell in the range. So if we had a range of cells, we move to the top left hand cell of where we want to paste that into. And the quickest way for me to paste, control V. Control V. Okay, so I just cut and paste. All right, I hit control Z to move that back. All right, let me uh, show you another way. We got up here the scissors on the home ribbon on the clipboard grouping is the scissors. So that allows us to control X or cut. And also if we wanted to right click and go to cut. So wherever you see the scissors, if you see an icon with the scissors, that means it's going to cut. Okay. So either right click, go to your home ribbon over on the left hand side in the clipboard grouping or use control X. So that all allows you to cut. So that's the same as moving. Another way we can move is if we select now to deselect if you've got this ants marching around a selection and you want to deselect that you don't want to have that you could either select another range and copy or cut or just hit escape. Okay so I've selected that range again. If I wanted to move that, there's a little trick to moving ranges. And it really keys off the fact that wherever you see a four directional arrow, which I've got now on my mouse cursor, see my, my arrow changes from the white cross here, which allows me to select ranges or cells. Um, but it, once I select a range of cells, the border around that range, if I mouse over it, I see four directional arrows. Okay, so whenever I see the four directional arrows means that if I left click and drag, or if I right click and drag, I'll show you both. If I left click and drag, I'm going to move that. Okay? So if I left click and drag where I have those four directional arrows, I can move that. See what happened? All right. So that's one, another way to move. If I right click and move, look what I've got. I've got options now, like a context menu, like when we right click on it on a cell or a range of cells it gives us a context menu where we can cut copy and do other things we now have a context menu allowing us to shift right and move shift down and move um, create hyperlinks copy move so we now have an option so that's right clicking and dragging on that border okay if we hold control and left click and drag look what happens did you notice when I hold control and move over where I usually see that four directional arrows, I now have an arrow cursor with a plus sign beside it. And that means that I'm going to make a copy of that. Okay, so that's one way to copy. So let's talk about other ways to make a copy. I'm going to hit Control Z. Okay, so that's a quick way to copy. Another way to copy, Control C for copy. Control C for copy. You see what happens again? Now I've got the ants marching around. I go down and select the left, top left, range. I select the top left cell on the range where I want to uh, paste it to. Control V or I could use the paste button up here. All right. So I just copied using Control C. This right here, the copy icon button also available on the clipboard grouping or if I wanted to select it and right click I could copy. Okay. So we got cut which is control X, we've got copy, which is control C, and we got paste, which is control V. Okay? All these options are available. 
up here on the clipboard grouping on the home ribbon. So that's how we move and copy and paste ranges of cells. Now what if we wanted to get in those cells and copy the data that's in them? What if we just didn't want to copy the whole thing? What if I just wanted to copy, say, out of computer, I just want to copy com. Okay, what I do is a couple ways. I can put my mouse wh where about I want to insert that cursor. Okay, so when I double click, I've got it right between the M and the P, if you can tell. It's right there between the M and the P. I double click and the insert cursor, the flashing I beam, comes up and now I'm in that key. I'm in that cell. And now I can treat it just like a text box. And I can highlight by left clicking and dragging and then copy and paste and cut and paste outside of, I can copy or cut any of the data inside that cell once I'm inside of it. So using the same commands, I could use Control X, Control V, uh, or Control C, Control V. Um, I can use the buttons up here, or I can right click, cut, and copy. Okay, so we have the same options, it's just a matter of getting inside of it. Now, when we move that up there, there's a little buggy trick that, <laughs> that Excel added here in 2007. It doesn't happen all the time, but you see this? This is the, the mini toolbar, and that pops up. I prefer to keep this off. I, I left it on just to show you guys. I'm going to show you how to turn it off. Um, but it allows some quick formatting where you don't have to go up to the home ribbon and do some formatting. Um, I prefer it to be off just because it kind of gets in the way sometimes. If you try to move up, um, it gets in the way. So that's how you get inside, and I'm going to show you how to turn that mini toolbar off here in a second. So you get inside by double clicking the cell where you want to go inside. Okay, access that data. Another way to access that data, up here on the formula bar, right? Because we can now select that data up here without double clicking inside of it. One other way to access the data once you select the cell is by pressing F2, function key F2. And that enters the cursor at the very end of the data in that cell. So F2 will do the same thing as double clicking except it won't put the cursor where you double click. Okay, now the clipboard. If you use another application, if we're transferring data from one application to another, Windows has a clipboard that holds the cut or copy data and it only has one entry in it. So if I copy this, copy computer, I couldn't enter anything else in on, on that clipboard and then paste it into another application. But within Office 2007 and previous versions, they have what's called the Office Clipboard. And within Office, you can actually copy up to 24 items without pasting it. And this is a really cool feature that they've added a while back. And I'm going to go through and copy individual cells. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm doing anything, right? It looks like, okay, I can now paste shirt. But if we open up the Office clipboard and we do that, easiest way to do that is hold Control and press C twice. Okay, so hold Control and press C twice. And when you do that, the clipboard comes up. So look what we've got here. Everything that I've copied once I've opened up this basic navigation, or anything that I've cut also, so this also holds cuts and copies, but anything that I've copied or cut is now over here on this clipboard. And I have a record and can now paste from this clipboard. So if I wanted to copy from one worksheet to another, or one workbook from another, I could copy, copy, copy in one, and then go to the next workbook, and then paste, 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 wherever I wanted to paste. So to paste using your clipboard, you select the cell where you want to paste into, and then you click on what you want to paste. Okay, easy enough. If you wanted to paste everything, you select the cell where you want to paste everything into, and click Paste All. See what happens? Now, it went from the bottom up, as you can see. Right here is the last entry I had on there. So the first entry was computer 502 in different cells, remember? 
and then it went computer ladder. So it, it pastes in the order that it was added to the clipboard.